Here we are, another day, another farmer's market find. Welcome to my Brooklyn kitchen. These are onions, and today we're gonna make onion rings. So, um, but I had an epiphany. I wanted to make onion rings, and then I wanted to perfect onion rings, and I, I don't know, I just was like, it's not gonna be good. Like, why am I doing onion rings? I don't wanna do onion rings. I was like having this whole crisis, and I realized um, the reason I don't like onion rings is that the outside gets too crispy by the time the onion gets cooked. So I, I'm going to try an experiment where we roast the onions ahead of time. So here are my onions. They are not like I bought them at the farmer's market a long time ago and they're kind of, they are still great though. That's the thing about onions. You keep them in the fridge. They keep for a long time. So. Um, I'm going to give these a wash and I'm going to roast them inside their skins so that the um, all the juices like stay inside and um, then I'm just going to cook them not until they're fully tender just like almost and then we're going to dip those cooked rings of onion into the batter and fry those and then hopefully it makes the best onion ring in the world so let's see um, I'm going to go give these a wash Here we are, these are washed. They still have like brown spots on them and stuff. That's fine. I'm gonna trim them up a little bit. Okay, ooh, yummy, smells great. Okay, trim this one up a little bit. And there we have our onions ready for the oven. Voila. Okay, here we have our tray. I'm just throwing these on like this. I'm not gonna oil them or anything. Um, they're just gonna go into a, it's like at like 350 um, for, I'm going to say 35, 40 minutes. So that's the plan, here we go. Okay, it has been like 40 minutes and I'm gonna check on our beautiful onion See, Hopefully it didn't go too far, that would be annoying. Okay. Here they are. Okay, this is how I'm gonna test if, if how they how cooked they are. Okay, they're warm all the way through. So now I'm just going to sit and let them cool off for a little bit just so they're cool enough to handle and then I'm going to slice them. Okay, so I let them cool for like 15 minutes. It also, they like, because they were warm, they continued cooking during that time. So now, and I think I'm just going to use the same pan, but I'm going to lay some parchment on it. Okay. Ooh, these are like 
some juice is coming out. That's a good sign. Okay, so now I'm gonna peel these. Oh, they're still hot. Oof, that is stunning. Look at this, beautiful. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous thing. It smells really good too. Okay, now this one. Wow, beautiful. These are gorgeous. Super stunning. Oh, it smells so good. Okay, so now I'm gonna, they just feel like the texture is also amazing. Like they feel like very firm and like juicy. Okay, so now I'm gonna slice them into onion ring size slices. Which I like my onion rings like not, like some people make them like this thick, like, I don't know, I'm not doing that. Okay, like that's the thinness, maybe like slightly thicker, but. Okay, this was the perfect amount of time for these onions. Your onions might be different, so. But yeah, they're definitely cooked warm in the middle. Oh, this was such a good idea. Well, I guess we'll see if it was such a good idea, but I think it was. Okay, just keep going, keep slicing. These last two weren't the most perfect, but Two onions makes a lot of onion rings, I realize now. Okay, so I'm just gonna let these cool to the side and now I'm gonna make my batter. I'm super excited about how these turned out and that I didn't overcook them, so that's really great. Very happy with that. Okay, I need a whisk. Okay, so time to make the batter. I'm just gonna make I'm just gonna make some guesses here. Um, 
this is whole wheat flour. It's just all I have right now. You don't need, uh, you can use all purpose if you want. Let's see. Okay, that's probably like two cups of flour. This is like, maybe like half a tablespoon of baking powder. Too tiny. That's okay. Um, okay, I just turned my oil on because once I make, once I mix this and the baking powder gets activated, um, I want to use the the batter right away. So I'm just gonna wait for a second while my oil heats up. Okay, so this is for our batter, and actually I'm gonna pour a little more flour into this bowl, and we're gonna dredge our onions in this. So because they're already partially cooked, they're kind of damp, and so they're gonna stick to this flour, and then that's gonna help the batter adhere a little bit better. Oh, pretty, okay. See? Okay, so our oil is warm now and getting hotter. So now we're gonna add some water. egg and mix that around. In this tiny, tiny bowl. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, this is still a little thick, so I am going to add a little more water. Maybe all of it. Okay, this is looking good. See that consistency? Okay, now this is gonna get tricky. I think I'm gonna move the camera over to the heat so you can see me frying.
should actually really flip it, put it away from you, but... Ooh, these are looking good. I set up a tray to put them on once they're done. I'm just looking for them to be really nice and golden brown because the onion inside is already cooked, so that is great. Okay, add a little salt while they are still hot and let's plate them up. I'll make the other ones later, I just wanted to try these. Look how gorgeous these look, okay. They're gonna be really hot, I think. Let's try this one, this first one. Mmm. We didn't have to fry them that long and the onion is really cooked on the inside. Mm. The batter is crunchy. I'm gonna try one of these, this one. Really hot. I need fully cooked. The batter worked out great. Really light, airy. Mmm. Really good onion ring. Great onion to breading ratio also. Well. There you have it. That's how you make delicious onion rings uh, with onions from the farmer's market at home. Not much more to it than that. It's so good. And with whole wheat flour, so it's pretty healthy. Mmm. A bit healthy. <laughs>